that what you're going to pay her $200? People around here don't think that prostitution is a problem, but it's very real and it is happening here every day. Paying for sex, an illegal transaction profiting the world's oldest profession. Sure, you probably won't find many skirts circling street corners in northwest Arkansas because that kind of advertising is ancient. Nowadays, the clients are drawn in digitally. And the Benton County Sheriff's Office knows it. So tonight we are setting up a prostitution sting. We post an ad online because that's the way, you know, this generation is. That's the first phase of this undercover operation. Phase two begins within minutes as a flurry of phone calls and texts come pouring in. I can't answer all these people. I already have two more messages. The digits gone public become an instant hotline with Detective Kelly Holiday responding to every ring. My role is to um, talk to these guys when they call because they're going to expect to hear a female voice. And she almost immediately begins to hear a lot more than she bargained for. What am I getting ready for at 9 o'clock? Uh, these charming Casanovas soon go from confident to downright cocky. Uh, I'm the best, man. I'm the best. Enter phase three. Deals are made and appointments are scheduled. Holiday undergoes a brief wardrobe change, then with heels in one hand and a firearm in the other. She travels with her street crimes unit to a local motel where a few unsuspecting Romeos will receive the ultimate ripoff. I think we're going to have a lot of upset individuals because you have to think of what they think they're going there for and then all of a sudden they're going to be smacked in the face with the reality of they're going to jail. Sheriff's office, sheriff's office, sheriff's office, sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. You're looking at phase four, the takedown. This is a, a really fast-paced operation. That's three on the way. Nope. As soon as we arrest one, we have another one coming. Sergeant Corey Coggin helps process the suspects in an adjoining room that quickly fills with faces of confusion, stacks of cash, and more condoms than a convenience store. Three Trojan condoms. He's it. They were up there. You weren't here for a conversation, right? And next door, deals are still being dialed in. Are you available tonight? That's 250 for two hours, you said? Yes. Well, I'm kind of looking for, you know, full service. Just a couple hours into the steam, emotions run high as some takedowns get extra physical, and the motel becomes a makeshift interrogation room. Okay, you're under arrest for sexual solicitation prostitution, okay? Do you understand that? I'm not a criminal. I'm not. No, we're not saying you're hate. No, no, please, I had a job. I got everything. What are you working at? It's public. Once they are arrested for this, if they're a business person, then their company can know about this. Which brings us to the final phase, loading up. Twelve men end up illustrating the walk of shame. This 71-year-old told detectives he was in town from Oregon, others from as far as California and Maryland, all looking for pleasure, but end up leaving as prisoners. This is, you know, our home for most of us, and we're not okay with prostitution or the things that come along with it, so stay out of our county.